What's up guys, Maz here. Today I'm gonna bring you a quick, simple guide on how to fully upgrade our Zonai battery cell, along with some tips to farm the necessary materials. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna make this very simple and as easy as possible for you guys to follow along and understand. So the process of upgrading your Zonai battery cell can be a little confusing at first. It's not exactly a quick process. It does take a little bit of time. So first things first, if we open up our inventory, you guys are gonna notice there's this little battery icon and this is called a Zonai energy cell. So anytime we use a Zonai device that requires power to move or to operate, it's gonna take up that battery cell energy. Now, of course, just like our stamina wheel, it does recharge when it's not being used over time. So if we let it deplete just a little bit here, okay, we open up the inventory, we can go to Zonai Charge, and if we use it, it'll actually replenish our battery by just a little bit. If we keep using it even after a full battery, it's going to continue to give us charge. Every one small Zonai charge that you consume will give us one third of a battery. What's even cooler though is that if we use a large Zonai charge it will temporarily prevent our cell from being wasted at all so if we use it here now you guys are going to see it's glowing this is a game changer so if you're trying to get to a really far off place and you know you just don't have the battery life then you can definitely use that to help you know bridge the gap and get you from point a to point b now i would suggest if you do want to farm these charges consistently the best way are to go after flux constructs which are those big boss like construct enemies Whenever you see a circular arena type of island, that's typically where you'll find these constructs. And you know, and they're scattered all throughout the skies. So you'll be able to find them in just about anywhere. Depending on the type of construct boss that you fight, you know, the stronger they are, the more charges that they're gonna draw. Now let's talk a little bit about zonite. So zonite is the most important material in this entire process. It's the main material that we'll need to use in order to upgrade our energy cell. Now zonite can be mined in deposit it's mostly found in the depths. You're also going to be able to fight a lot of different enemies in the depths that will drop Zonite. There is also a specific mine. If we go up to the Great Sky Island, we can actually fast travel to the Nachoya Shrine. And if we go to this mining cave, there are some deposits that we can actually find there. So I'm just going to go there very quickly and show you guys. So if you just jump straight off from the edge, we can make our way down to the mine here. We pass by these constructs. We can then go into this mine system system right here quickly just hop on the rails with your shield to go faster you'll start to see that there is some zonite ore deposits you know you can always come by here every now and then maybe fuse a few bombs just break them apart collect the zonite while you're here so in the next room here there's actually quite a bit more that we could find so you can see that there's a lot of deposits here so there's tons in this one mine and the cool thing is that they do respawn every blood moon and then you can just farm these zonite pieces again now of course this isn't the only place you can find them if we go into the depths there's actually three mine locations where you can find these large deposits full of zonite so there's actually one up here that you can go to so there's one mine here and then there's another one here and a third one right here there's tons throughout the depths but these three in particular are very close to each other so i would suggest you can always go from the Korodat light route and go to these two or you can go from the Iasis, Iasis light route and then you can always go to that deposit there now zonite have very specific uses in this game okay so there's more than one use for zonite so they can be exchanged for zonite charges so if we go to a forge construct you can actually exchange zonite for zonite charges so if you don't feel like farming the charges and maybe you have an excess amount of zonite then you can definitely do that zonite can also be used with auto build and we'll be able to actually use zonite Zonite to build the materials that we need. But the most important use that Zonite has for us is the ability to purchase crystallized charges. Now, once we've collected our Zonite, we need to bring them to a forge construct before it can be used to upgrade. When we go to the forge construct, they'll be able to refine the Zonite into these crystallized charges. You can buy them from these forge constructs, but they can also be found in specific treasure chests up in the Sky Islands and also 
in the depths as well. The crystallized charges can also be dropped by specific boss enemies in the depths as well, but by far the most easiest and consistent way to get them is by going to these forge constructs and exchanging your zonite for the crystallized charges. So one crystallized charge costs three zonite. So if we exchange that, we lose three and we earn ourselves one crystallized charge. So the goal is we need a hundred of them in order to increase our zonite battery by one third. So in order to increase our battery cell, every 100 crystallized charges will give us an extra one third to play with. This construct here, this is the first one that we see in the game that we can actually purchase these crystallized charges, but there's actually a much better one that you can go to. So I'm going to suggest that we go to the Great Abandoned Central Mine. There's another construct here and you can see that this one has a much larger and more vast inventory. So not only do they have small crystallized charges, but they actually have large crystallized charges as well. So these ones take three large pieces of zonite and one of these is worth 20 crystallized charges. So just one of these equals 20 of these. So what I would suggest as soon as possible, try and get to this location here. I actually have a video on the fastest way to do that. But essentially, once we get here, you'll then want to buy up all the inventory here. So this one will always sell 30 small ones and five large ones. So we're just going to buy up everything in this case here. Now, there's one thing that you have to keep in mind. When we go to these constructs, they have a limited supply, which means once you buy them up, you're not going to be able to buy them again until I, I think it's a minimum of at least 24 in-game hours. It could be even longer, but there is a way to bypass that because let's be real. We want to do this as quick as possible. Nobody wants to wait. We want everything done as soon as we can. And there is a way to get past that. So what you can do, you can grab a piece of wood and a piece of flint, throw them onto the ground. So after we create a fire, what we're going to do is we're going to sit by it until morning. Now after we sit by the fire, and you guys can see at the bottom left that it's auto saving. So once it auto saves, what you're then going to do is reload that auto save. So we'll go ahead and reload the auto save. And once it reloads, we now have a brand new fully stocked inventory of crystallized and large crystallized charges. So again, we're just going to buy them all. We're just going to buy everything on hand, then rinse and repeat the process. Get another piece of wood, and you don't even need to have flint. You can also get fire fruit too. That also works as well. Or you can fuse a ruby to a weapon and then use that. You know, you could be so creative. There's so many different things you can do with this game, honestly. So there's not one right way to do something, which is pretty awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to reload that autosave that we just had. Okay. And now it's restocked again. And essentially we can just keep doing this, rinse and repeat the process of buying, making a fire, and just keep reloading the autosave over and over, rinse and repeat, so long as you have the materials to buy them. So after you finally have enough, we'll then need to go to one more place, a crystal refinery. So you guys are still with me, right? You can actually find one at Lookout Landing, and it's right here. So there's a crystal refinery right here, or you can go up into the Sky Islands, the Great Sky Island and fast travel to the Nachoya Shrine. So let's go ahead and just do that here. So once you get to the Nachoya Shrine here, or you can also go to the one at Lookout Landing, you then talk to the steward construct. And this is where you're going to go to give your crystallized charges. So he's going to give us energy wells. For every 100 crystallized charges that we get, he's going to produce one energy well. One energy well will give us one third of a new Zonai battery set. So if we press get producing, so see how I have over 500. So it's showing this is how many that he'll give me right off the bat. So if we take a look back at our inventory here, you can see that the energy cell has a total of eight slots. By doing some quick math, it takes 300 crystallized charges to give us one full extra battery. And since we already have one given to us in the beginning of the game, we have seven slots left. So seven times 300, that brings us to a grand total total of 2,100 crystallized charges in total to completely max out and upgrade our energy cell. 
Wow, that's a lot. Now, as of recording this video, there is a certain few glitches that you can use to kind of duplicate materials. You could do that if you want. You could definitely do that if you don't feel like farming them. But inevitably, those glitches are likely going to get patched at some point, which means we'll then have to go back to learning how to farm these materials again. It is a bit of a process, but let me tell you, once we finally upgrade those batteries, it is well worth it. Now, you guys can see here, I'm still buying up as many as I can because I still have enough zonite. I need a thousand more crystallized charges to be able to max out my cell battery all in one shot. So I'm going to go ahead and grind those out off camera and uh, I'll be back. A few moments later. We now have 2100 crystallized charges, which is the exact amount that we need to fully maximize our zonai battery cell. So we're going to do get producing. Okay, now he's gonna produce it for us. That's satisfying, taking that all in one shot. Okay, and there we go. He made 21 energy cells for us, energy wells. And just like that, we've completely maximized our Zonai battery cell. Now we're ready to have some fun. And now you guys can see we have a lot of freedom now with all these batteries. Now we feel like we can truly go and do whatever we want and not feel limited by our Zonai batteries. I know that was a lot of information in this video, so hopefully this will help you guys going forward. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a like. I did spend a lot of time trying to make this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well because I have plenty more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content coming your way. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.